today we're going back to the southern border, because covering candidates two years out from an election 24-7, I'll leave that to the professionals. <gasps> a guy not yet running for president inappropriately touched two people. Let's get all of the panels together, because me reading that last sentence didn't sufficiently cover that story. Turns out Uncle Joe is, well, Uncle Joe? Anyways, the southern border where most of the policy initiatives of this administration come from. Over the past year, I've forced myself to research our immigration system a lot, and boy am I fun at parties. It's getting scary, I'm starting to talk about Zinvidas v Davis like they're my best friends. Today we're going to be talking about a recent development in the border, specifically shutting it down. Well hey, the last round of shutdowns just worked out well for everybody involved, so I can tell why we're getting so excited. Great solution to the problem, there's a flood of undocumented immigrants entering your country. I know, let's make it harder to legally enter. Shutting down the border is a bold threat though, I mean it would be like cutting off your arm to have something to throw at your opponent. This for whatever reason has largely been covered in terms of access to avocados. Wow, that is some of the best evidence yet that the media might have a liberal bias. Sure this will hurt the economy, but what about my avocado toast? Today we're going to be looking into the problem we're specifically trying to solve and what we want to get Mexico to do. Yeah, I'm not going to focus as much on the actual border shutdown because as of me writing this episode, he's already backtracking. So first, the Trump administration says the president's threat to shut down the border with Mexico is no bluff. Customs and Border Protection says the immigration system is past the breaking point because of a surge of families from Central America asking for asylum. Yes, our detention system is overflowing because of an unfortunate cocktail of things. First, this administration's strategy of indefinitely detaining as many people as possible until the courts figure out exactly what to do with them. And second, a recent uptick in undocumented immigrants. Although, that uptick is from such low numbers, it would be like seeing someone walk out of a blockbuster video today and thinking, hey, their sales probably just doubled from this quarter. Maybe they're becoming a monopoly again. I don't want to completely dismiss this problem of an increase in migration though, because it's what we're talking about today, but it's less of a question about how many people are coming over and instead who they are. It's hard to believe, but immigration authorities are actually pining for the days when it was single Mexican males coming over to work. Man, good times? Nowadays we have vulnerable populations coming over to declare asylum. So that's a super basic summary of the problem we're trying to solve. I did an entire episode about it if you're curious. But now to the question of the day. How is shutting down the border going to help? President Trump blamed Mexico and other Central American countries Friday for not stopping caravans of migrants moving toward the U.S. border. And on Saturday, the State Department cut off U.S. aid to El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras. Cutting off aid. That should certainly reduce the number of asylum claims from those countries. Focusing on Mexico, though. Trump thinks Mexico can do more to deport the Central American caravans as they move across Mexico to the United States. In a shocking twist to our traditional immigration narrative, this wave of undocumented immigrants is equally undocumented in Mexico. We're in one of those sequels right now where we have to work with the bad guy from the first movie. Our stated goal is largely considered to be unachievable. Specifically, if Mexico doesn't immediately stop all illegal immigration coming into the United States through our southern border, I will be closing the border, or large sections of the border next week. So the bar is at stopping all illegal immigration. Boy, if only we had thought to ask for that 18 years ago. Instead, most people are expecting that, more realistically, our goal is something where Mick Mulvaney set the bar on the issue two days ago. What would it take for him not to do that this week? Uh, something dramatic. Something dramatic is the phrase that's being quoted by most publications. So we're gunning for something between no more undocumented immigrants and Mexican President Obrador showing up to the border wall with a boombox to let Trump know he still cares. So what does immigration policy look like in Mexico? And what sweeping gesture do they have prepared for us? First, what does it look like? Because it's interesting. 
Mexico doesn't have a history of being a hub for undocumented immigrants, so their laws are still pretty malleable. Since early 2018, Mexico has responded to the increased number of Central American migrants with force. This led to tweets like, The wall clearly already exists. It's called Mexico. Congratulations, Mr. Trump. And Mexico paid for it. Oh, really? Mexico's strategy has recently taken a 180 when Mexico voted in its new president this year. President-elect Lopez Obrador was elected on a promise to take a firm stand against Trump, particularly in areas of trade and migration. I think you can see where this is going. Obrador has an incredibly different approach on what to do with undocumented immigrants than our president. But interestingly enough, opposites might attract in some policy areas. AMLO's goal seems to be free-range asylum seekers in Mexico, rather than their caged American competitors. This has been used by Trump to get things like, the Mexican government agreed the policy requiring asylum seekers to wait in Mexico was imposed on them by the United States, and they consented for humanitarian reasons. That recent update should really help us with our detention center load. And all we had to do was create an asylum-based humanitarian crisis so bad that Mexico had to say, you know what, maybe we hold the baby for a little while. You also have reports like, the Mexican authorities are blocking groups of migrants at border towns, refusing to allow them onto international bridges to apply for asylum in the United States, intercepting unaccompanied minors before they can reach American soil and helping to manage lists of asylum seekers on behalf of the American authorities. Wow, are those Mexico's policies or did I just read Stephen Miller's Christmas list? So how could we have a problem if all of those policies are on the books? Well, it's everything else that's really the problem. While AMLO seems perfectly content keeping people from entering the United States, he also seems very passionate about integrating refugees into Mexican society. Back in October, President-elect López Obrador said his government would offer temporary work visas for the migrants should they wish to seek asylum in Mexico. He then created a visa system where migrants could apply for visas and move freely around Mexico. A program that was so popular it was created and then immediately flooded with 10,000 people applying. And of course they did. The alternative is walking across Mexico to sit in a US detention center for months or years. And then two weeks later this program got so popular that we heard. Mexico shutting down a fast track program for temporary asylum, allowing migrants to stay in Mexico. Instead, Mexico deciding it will no longer discourage or block their movement as thousands make their way north. This all becomes a problem when it comes out that many migrants who had applied for the visa had said they intended to use it to ease their passage to the northern border, and then cross into the United States either legally or illegally. Of course that raises the immediate question in my mind. What kind of cocky douchebag refugees are you interviewing to come up with that conclusion? Yeah, it was a great visa program, you know, but me and my boys here just applied so that I could skip Mexico and then illegally enter the United States. I'm really improving my chances of getting admitted into an asylum program now, right? It's the New York Times though, so I'll take their word for it. Overall, the fact that deportations have plummeted under AMLO's watch and his administration has sought to incorporate more migrants into Mexican society by being generous with humanitarian visas and work permits is, as some would say, creating a Mexico rife with potential to being a doormat's entry into America, specifically for caravans looking to take advantage of their policies. So Mexico, how might you wow us with a dramatic flair? Well, you have an opportunity coming right up. New tonight, another large caravan trekking through Mexico. Human rights advocates say it's likely headed to the U.S. This new caravan is leading to a change of heart in Mexican officials, specifically Interior Secretary Olga Sanchez Cordero. And if you're Trump-style immigration hawk, well, you're non-sarcastically going to love her. On the other side, you have the Mexican President AMLO who we talked about earlier. The Interior Secretary has pledged to form a police line of containment around Mexico's narrowest point to stop migrants from continuing north to the US border. 
and that's no small task considering it's a cool 130 miles wide. So is this the boombox up dramatic gesture we were looking for? Well, it might have been, except that Trump started threatening Mexico with a border shutdown on Thursday, and Mexico announced this on Wednesday. Basically, it would be like me saying, I'm going to use this video and all of you to get the president to back off his border shutdown demands. What do you know? It worked! Still, AMLO is sticking to his guns, not going further than to say, Mexico is doing its part to fight immigrant smuggling. And he recently said, we don't in any way want a confrontation with the US government. It is legitimate that they are displeased and they voice those concerns. Basically, America is having a problem detaining growing numbers of Central American asylum seekers and is trying to push Mexico into the harsher immigration stances of previous Mexican presidents in order to stop migrants from even making it to our southern border. As Andrew Salee, the president of the Migration Policy Institute in Washington put it, <coughs> the great irony here is that you have one administration north of the border that rhetorically thinks only in terms of enforcement, and one south of the border that rhetorically thinks only in terms of getting rid of enforcement. With this recent move though, critics are saying that Trump might be winning that debate. Thank you and that's all I have to say about that. Hello YouTube, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to support independent nonpartisan news, remember to subscribe by clicking on this floating logo to the left of my head. Ring that bell so that freedom will continue to ring and give me a thumbs up if you liked what you saw. Lastly, as always, thank you for watching.